Hong Kong is very packed and a good mix. So you've got this Asian culture here, but at the same time, you've got this Western culture. Two very distinctive cultures and colliding. And I don't think any cities around the world is the same. When designing the four pieces uh, of artwork for this project, I was considering how this object represents the site. When we were thinking about Taekwun, it was a police station, a prison and a court. So we were thinking to use like, traditional like, Chinese camera shoes because um, these are the shoes that prisoners would wear back then. and we decided to use the siren and obviously we can't actually have the light there so we decided to just use the colour so we picked blue and red. For the t-shirt, I want to have something feminine to represent the mills. Um, there were quite a lot of female workers back then in the industry so I decided to use like a floral pattern to, to illustrate this and in the centre is the frets. I think what fascinates me a lot when it comes to Chinese opera is the makeup and the props they use. They, they like something that is a bit more symbolic. So for example, when like, like the masks they wear. For the Sichu Center, I always wanted to, to do something about it. The design of a Chinese mask is very clean, but my work is very detail oriented. So I was thinking like reinterpreting that so I picked a character, uh, which I picked, like, the Monkey King. Like, Art Lane in the Western District is a great starting point for local people who want to get to know about street art. So when it comes to street art, quite a lot of people sort of relate to that to, to spray cans. But it, I think it was quite tricky because like, it's, it's, it's a cylinder and that means you're constantly rotating it while drawing it. And that was definitely the hardest one. My name is Christopher Ho. I'm a Hong Kong artist. <laughs>